What up? What up? My bad. I was had to get something. What up? Doing some of these also at the same time. DTF. DTF. Doing that too. What's everybody up to? What's up? What's up? What's up, babe? I want one. Come get one. I'm here. Come get one, Blake. D Strong, what's going on? So we're doing some shirts that I gotta do before tomorrow morning, so let's do it. Using the Anatol Thunder. So we're gonna do a, I'm doing a front and a back. What's up? Domino. Okay, I'll be here tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. So um, they just made, everybody knows June, what is it, Juneteenth? They just made it a federal holiday. So they gave us a call and said we're off tomorrow. So that's what's up. What's up, Oscar? Oh, it's going. It's going, Frankie. And now it's ready to be printed on a shirt. So put the powder on there. And after the powder, you put it through there. And when the powder comes out, appreciate that, Frankie. When you put the powder on there and it comes out, now it's like a transfer vinyl. That's pretty cool. So we're selling these, we're selling these over at the vinyl stand. But I can't even keep up with it because we've just been selling out of them so fast. But we're gonna do the we're gonna do the back. We're gonna do the front. Like I said, we're using the Anatol Thunder. We're using um, where's the ink at? That I'm using somewhere here. Lilac. That's what we're using. It's a lilac and it's from Total Link Solutions. Total Link Solutions. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Fred, what's up, man? How's it going? Trying to knock out some jobs. Look, gotta gotta start knocking them out. So there's one right here with black shirts. I think this one and this one. It's this image. It's a repeat job, so I keep my films in case in case of that, right? So that one gets this one. This one is a different one. This one right here is another one and this one is another one so yeah backed up plus we're trying to keep up with the the dtf prints trying to keep up with these right now also so there's actually if you look where's that right here you can see it moving see how it's moving yeah, so it's printing. It's actually printing one of those right now, and then when it beeps, I'll go get it. Yeah, we stay busy over here. I'm finally gonna take the trailer out. So excited about that too. Those of you that have followed me, whenever I got that trailer last year, or the year before, whenever it was that I got that trailer, uh, we're finally gonna take it out for Fourth of July. Small order, like 24 shirts for a, for a funeral. Rodrigo, what's up? What's going on, man? So here we go. This is what we're doing. I don't know if you can see it. I have a test one that I did here somewhere. What did I do? With it? 
Anyways, I'll show you guys in a second. I'll show you when I take it off. I'm gonna do. I'm doing. Uh, so I'm not putting a white underbase under this because it's a light, a light, um, a light ink, right? So I'm gonna put two two coats of it. After the two coats, it should be good. Customer had wanted to go with a with a dark purple, and I talked him out of going with a dark purple because dark purple on black you don't really be able to see it. So I didn't want print. I didn't want to print him something that he wasn't going to be able to see. So I think this was a better this was a better fit for this color of shirt. That's our first coat. Now we're gonna hit it with our second coat. See what we get. See what we get. We got some youth shirts, two two youth shirts we gotta do. So with the youth shirts, we're gonna have to weed that out, but it's what it is, right? I don't even know if I have this Bible here. the back. It's good. Who else is working right now? Who else is working on something? <clears throat> it does, man. It does 24-7. What's up, Ry? I need help, man. Look. When's the show? Look. Lined up. Where we at? One, there's that the bin, that one, that one. This is the one I'm doing, that one, and that one. Come on, Rai. Plus, I'm trying to do these at the same time. Same time. Oh yeah, who's that? Yaldo, that's what's up. Finally got it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. What size did you get? Did you get the one like this? Did you get the one like this? The uh, the 6-6? Six, six? Did you get the lasers? All these questions. I just want to know, like, that's what's up. So what I do is, I probably told you guys this before. Let me see if I can show you. If you look. Ah, you can't see it. Right here, look. Right, right, where's that? That way, that, right there's a box. So I have a box over there just catches the shirts. But let me make sure they're drying because I changed my temperature for the DTF prints.
changed my temperature for the DTF prints because if I put them in there, because um, that thing, if you don't know this, um, who is it? Yaldo, you can set like a bunch of, if you've got this too, the, the conveyor dryer, you can set a bunch of, a bunch of different uh, program, you can program six different temperatures. So I have one set up for this and then I just set up one for the DTF prints. So I was like, let me, uh, let me get it. I was doing DTF prints and I don't think it's going to be hot enough to do this. So I just turned it, put it back to uh, number one. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Being Pam, what's going on? Michael, you haven't missed much yet. Thanks for joining. We just uh, screen printed some shirts, going through the process. Again, we're using the Anatol Thunder, all Anatol equipment around here. Uh, congratulations to Yaldo. Uh, he just picked up, I don't know if it's he or she, they just picked up the uh, the Anatol Thunder also. So you're going to love it. That's what's up. Yes. Right, it does, it does. Um, I have to open up the doors when I'm doing a when I'm doing a long runner shirts. So we have to open up the doors. I do need a, I do need to fix that. Maybe that's something. Whenever you get here, we could do together. I'm gonna be here. I don't know, probably till nine or ten. Me and my wife. Okay, that's what's up, man. I'm I'm excited for y'all. Y'all got any, if you have any questions on it. My, my phone number is down below. You're more than welcome to call. I'll help you any way I can. Phone number, the phone, it's the phone number to the shop. So if you got any questions, um, I'll give you Rice's personal number. Um, just give me a second. I'll find my phone so I can give it to you. Nah, but for real, if you got any questions, um, yeah, just let me know. I'll help you out the best I can. If you're looking to get some pallets, um, <laughs> if you're looking to get pallets, I just got hooked up with um, I just got hooked up with Action Engineering. So these dudes, they make, they're here, they're not here local, but they're here in Georgia. They just um, call between one and one oh one. They just, they're they they're here in Georgia, so they're like two hours from me. They make pellets, any kind of pellets you want. Go to actionengineering.com um, and they hook you up, right? What I like about them is, what I like about these pellets, and you're gonna see um, Yaldo and Rai, you both, I know both of y'all have this right here. Um, this right here, and there's one up there. So it's easy to find, you can't see it because I have the, the tape on there. See it right there? So it makes it easy to, to line up your lasers. That's what I like about that. So if you guys, since they hooked me up, right, they also gave me a code, right? So if you go to them, you shop with them, um, at checkout, type in heart, all capital letters. <laughs> type in heart, all capital letters, and it gets you 10% off. So something like this, um, I believe was like 250 bucks, right? So you can use it this way to do um, koozies. You can flip it this way and still print the full print on this side, right? So that's pretty cool. So think about it, 250 bucks. Use that code, heart, gets you like 25 bucks off. Can't beat that, right? You're gonna, you're gonna buy a pallet, might as well save some money. I said it's gonna disappear when he gets here. Yeah, it's nice. I just got some other stuff from them too. Um, I can show you the boxes. See them right there? Better watch this before I get ink on my shirts. But if you look, I got two more packages that I just got in. Um, I gotta do, I'm gonna do an unboxing video of that stuff. That stuff is legit. If you look at it, see the boxes, they're upside down. Cause I wanted to see what was, I wanted to see what they were before I unboxed them. So I've already opened them, but I'm gonna do an unboxing video, but I opened it on the opposite side. So when I do an unboxing video, you guys won't know because um, I opened them backwards, right? Secret right there. Don't tell nobody. I just wanted to see what I had got. But yeah, check them out. I 
like I said, we gotta do three U shirts for this. And um, with the U shirts. With the youth shirts, all of this has to be weeded. Yeah, that too. Yep, that too. I could show you a cool palette, man, but you gotta wait for the unboxing. You gotta wait for it. Um, eventually, I'll, eventually, I'll make time and get to it. Rye comes and helps us. Artiz, is that who was just jumped on? Artiz, At Prince, what's up, man? Just he just got in the screen printing. He picked up the Ryanet press. The Ryanet press. Um, Hey, whatever works. I got one too. I'm gonna be using it for Fourth of July. Let's print. Oh, almost did the wrong image. Let me take this off. Let me take this off before I do that. That was the. I was like, man, that looked white. Why does it look white? And it was white. That would have been an Anytime Fitness logo on these shirts. Don't want to do that. We're waiting for these shirts to come in today and they got here like six o'clock. And they've been saying for like two days that they were out for delivery. That was close, yeah it was. Um, Harbor Freight. I got it at Harbor Freight. So I have two of them. I use this one. To, that's my clean cart and then I have another one over there you see the difference to that one all my ink goes on that one so I keep my ink and my shirts separate because stuff like that will ruin a shirt you know what I mean so you got to be careful with that that's why I got two separate carts but Harbor Freight that one right there I got a Harbor Freight so here we are test print on the front this was the front right and then whenever I I printed the shirt and I looked at it I didn't print a shirt I pr printed a test the the top piece was this way and then the date was off a little bit so I had to redo it because I didn't want to give them I didn't want to give them something messed up the date on the other one was off a little bit so I was like let me fix it I was burnt, I was uh, prepping some screens for these other jobs, so I was like, I already have it ready, so let me use it. You know what I mean? Put another print on real quick. I can go check this out with me. So y'all know I'm I got a DTG machine, right? I just got a DTG. I got the Omni 330 TX Plus. Let, let's go do this real quick. I just gotta keep it running because uh, we've been doing these Juneteenth um, prints for the vinyl stand, and we've been selling out of them like crazy. 
Like, to, I think today I... Look at that. It's still wet. There's no powder on it yet. And then, oh. Got my little station right here. It's like doing, uh, it's like doing plastisol transfers, right? So I do this. A little bit of powder. Hopefully, yeah, you can see it. So now it's got the powder on it. And then once I run it through the conveyor dryer, it'll come out like this, nice and glossy. And then it makes like a a coat of glue, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. So check it out. Check it out. Here, I'm already gonna run out of DTF print. I'm already running out of DTF paper. I gotta order some more. So it prints from the front of the machine back, right? So you have to send it to the front of the machine. You hear that? It has a height, height adjustment, so it has a laser in there, adjust the height. So that, so that this doesn't strike this. And then when it's to the front, it's ready to print. We won't stay here for the whole process because it, it don't take a while, but it takes probably, I think the last time, this time it's a full color, full color print, and then it does the white underbase afterwards. So right now it's laying down the color. <coughs> Lays down the color. We're going to begin the website called... Um, I think it's called works something like that and with that website what we'll be able to do is if you guys are interested in ordering your own you can go up there on and upload your, your images to that so that um, it'll be like a what do they call it print on demand type stuff so that's cool we already ordered a whole bunch of boxes which are those right there that fold into little boxes so that these will fit perfectly in there Yeah, we're going to let that run. I just wanted to start it real quick. We're going to let that run. We're going to continue doing what it is. We've got to finish these. These are priority because she wants to pick them up. Pick them up tomorrow, not tonight. So she wants to get them tomorrow. So What size is the image? I think the image I did was a 10 by 10, something like that. Steak and lobster, I got you, right? Uh, let's see, what size is that? The the film is is longer, it's a little bit wider than 11, but it's shorter than 17. I like when I do sub to cotton. That's what's up, Gina. Um. Rodrigo, no, not yet, man. Sorry. Still trying to, still trying to figure all that out. Um, it's just hard. It's hard for us right now to sit down, and it's hard for us to sit right next, sit down, 
and do that right now because we've just been so busy. Yeah, what's up, Gina? One thing I wish you could do with this, right? I don't know if you agree with me or not, is have the ability. I wish this was like on a swivel to where you could move it wherever you want. You know what I mean? I wish I wish they made it like that so that um, I could print wherever I want to print, not just here. But if I want to move, I have to like disconnect it. See, this shirt was backwards. I almost put it on the right. I mean, I guess one reason they don't do it is because I, I'm thinking is because of the wire. Because the wire that you run up the middle, the wire you run up the middle, just imagine if you just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning, what the wire is going to do. She's 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 a uh, they went they went to the mountains today so she'll be she's uh probably they're driving back right now. Anybody else printing tonight? What's everybody else doing? The mountains? Yeah. So now it's done. Dropped one.
110, and then can you imagine with the dryer on? I got AC here, right? So you'll be good when you come over here. Just don't bring the heat with you. three for the back. switch over to the front. So with the front, I haven't done it yet. So we're going to line it up. right here make a big difference when you have them on the sides like that. What do you mean a larger screen? Larger screen for what? I'm not cool, that's why I don't care for it. are just too big to carry. Look, they're just too big. This is a 23 by 31. See the difference? It would be like this. Hold on, let me set this one. This thing would be huge. I haven't even put it on here. Yet. There you go. So I bought this one because we're, we're trying to do our. He said, "Bam, we're gonna. I'm gonna do. A, we're gonna print our own boxes for the vinyl stand, eventually, right, Lori? Lori's like, "Where's my boxes? Where's my boxes at?" I'm like, "I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. Then I need a bigger. Then I'll have to get a bigger scoop coder thing too, right? That's huge." But like if I get something this big, you can only still print as big as the pallet. You know what I mean? So what's the purpose of a, this if you can't print out here? I guess to be with the cool kids. Levi, where are you at? Levi, are you in basic or where are you at? Are you uh, training for your MOS or what are you up to? Some PMI tape, PMI, to uh, cover the registration marks.
So you have to buy a bigger pallet for that rye or what? And a giant 20X large shirt, right? Oh, okay. I know what that means if you're over there. I know what your MOS is. You should have been a, you should have been a, um, a 94 Fox. I would have been your instructor. Grab those 88, 88 might. When you get promoted, you'll get promoted very fast. I'll let you know that. 88 mics get promoted super fast. Here's what I'm using to print right here. Look. Uh, periwinkle. What did I say? I'll do it myself. I'm going to do it Sunday. When I come in Sunday, I'll do it. Periwinkle. I'm gonna put in the conveyor dryer. She said, What? I said, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm not working Saturday, Sunday, whatever day it is. Yeah. And then, look at those colors. to fall in my box. So let's go get it. It ain't happening. So I see how I just let them fall in the box. Just fall in the box. Just waiting for these DTF prints. The other ones I just did yesterday. Nah, nobody's at the door. Don't be scaring me. I just did those. Now it's ready for a shirt. Do, we're going to do the front of them now. The front. What's up, Jesse Gibson? What's going on, man? How, you, how are you? Appreciate you watching the videos for the support. Thank you. Okay. I know I had a charger. I'm going to plug it in. What did I do with it? See what his name was. I remember T eight eight T prints.
There he is. Hey, y'all, check out um, AT Prince. He just started a YouTube channel also. He's getting into screen printing. So, part join. he's going to probably be part of this community now. So, that's what's up. Free press. What's up? Nice. Yeah, I need under base, it's a light color. You know what I mean? Uh, if I was doing like a darker purple, then I'd probably need a, a white. Someone's here. Right, you jinxed me. Let me go see what they want real quick. Hold on. Was that you, right? Was that you? I'm at, I'm at to get your... <laughs> I'm like, how did you know someone's coming to the door? Look at right. he ordered some wings. Look at him. I think it's wings. And a soda, look at him. Oh man, right. I don't even know what to say right now, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So much. You don't even know. You don't even know. Wings. <laughs> Wing stop from Cali. I was like, can I help you? He was like, I got DoorDash. And I'm like, for who? He said, Joe. And I was like, for me? He was like, are you Joe? I was like, yeah. He said, then it's for you. <laughs> I was like, okay. And I was like, it had to have been right. Let's unbox. Let's unbag. Yeah, that is awesome. That's cross country. You got here fat. Let's unbag the wing stuff. Let's do this live. For coming from from coming from Cali, they're still pretty warm. That's what's up. Let's see what else we got in this bag. I always wanted one of these. Look at that. How did you know? Look at them, Parmesan chicken wing, boneless chicken wings. That's what it looks like. I don't even know when the last time I had wing stop was, honestly. So eight, who was it? At Prince said enjoy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mhm. Mm mmm. Oh, is that why you were asking the other night if we were still at the shop? They hooked you up, man. Look at that. Zero, 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 zero. Hey, I appreciate that, right? For real. <laughs> I 
owe you one now. I owe you one now. It's a good thing I know your address. From shipping stuff back and forth. Who gave you that? Who gave you that, Lord? Mmm, my chicken. Oh, it doesn't have a name on it. You know how Cokes used to have a name on it? I could have said whoever it was from. The other night I got home and I was like, I'm going to have a beer. But it was a root beer. Lori was like, you better not. It's like, it's just one. I drank a root beer. But I drank a beer. Right? So this front image... I need to take off this one because I don't want to confuse them. Like I was telling you guys, I did the... Uh, this... This piece wasn't centered with this piece. So I'm going to take it off. Just in case. So I don't accidentally print the wrong one. If you look at the image, got to stick together, right? If you look at this image, this is the this is the top, this is the bottom, and they were putting a a picture in the middle. So I still got to do that too. I've already printed them, but I got to go back and press them on. Good. Hey, Lily, what's up? You just missed it. We did an unbagging. <laughs> I'm not even going to do a test print. I'm just going to trust that I did this one right. Yeah, you just missed it, Lily. Really. Look, check it out. Rye had DoorDash sent over. Look at that. What's up? From Cali. DoorDash from Cali and it's still warm. to this because it's a brand new screen. Let me grab the ink real quick. If you're new to screen printing, whenever you're putting ink on the screen, avoid putting it over the shirt. Because what's going to happen is we're doing this, and you're wiping it. And say you wipe it somewhere 
where it's open, you're gonna get it on the shirt. So don't do it. You're gonna leave it in the air or do it a different way. I'm just speaking from experience. cover this down on the bottom just because there's a gap down there I don't want ink to transfer to the shirt see it right here if you can right there just to be on the safe side Pulled it, I didn't push it. So there's the image for the front, right? Here, and then we're gonna put a picture in the middle right here. Here's another tip for anybody who's getting ready to start screen printing or looking to get into it. Um, I'm pulling, I'm pulling this ink right now. So what you want to avoid is, I'm doing this, right? You don't want to go the other way. Go one, if you're going to go one way, stay going that way. Because if you go the other way, it's going to print different. Just a little um, tip for anybody that's starting. So see, this is my second, I'm going with my second pass now. What I don't want to do is go the opposite way because you could get a, a different print. That looks way better. I wish I, I wish I knew what I did with the other shirt. I wanted to show you how it was, it was crooked. I can't find it. I'm not even printing white. I'm not even printing white. Yeah. Sometimes, like when I was doing those other shirts, when I was doing the back, I could feel it whenever I was pushing forward. Um, they flew right over you. We did it unbagging from uh, Wingstop. You missed it, Gino.
Did Anatol give you your Anatol gear? Yes, I was sponsored by Anatol. Yep. Sure was. How did my laser go from here to down there? This way. Already lined up. It's just weird how it moved. Yeah, I mean, there's some there's some things I got to do for it, but it's all good. King Leak, that's what's up. That's what's up. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, everybody has their preference, you know what I mean? It all depends on, um, all depends, like, we, we like to use Next Level on Bella Canvas, but then, at the same, if you're looking for something soft, a lot of people like the Bella Canvas to the next, the next level. Um, if you want something thicker, you know what I mean? The Gildan, I got people that love Gildan shirts, you know what I mean? That's just what they like, and they like the feel of the hoodies. Um, it, all, it all depends on the person, you know what I mean? Um, I have people that, you'll have people that will, don't know quality of a shirt. All they know is what they can go buy at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, which is um, Gildan, right? So, someone comes in, and they're like, I just want Gildan shirts. So I'm like, all right, cool. And then we're like, have you ever tried Next Level or Bell Canvas? And they're like, no. So we're like, all right. Um, so what we do is I'll print them a shirt on a Next Level or Bell Canvas t-shirt. And then the next time they come in, the next time they come in, they're like, my next order, I want it done with these shirts. Because as someone that's just doing this, that's not into like knowing about a whole bunch of different types of t-shirts, you know what I mean? They, all they know is Bella Canvas. I mean, uh, Gildan, like I said, you know what I mean? So that's what I would say. Buy, buy, buy two or three different ones, two or three different ones and give your, give your customer the opportunity to feel the difference, you know what I mean? Of course, if your customer comes in, they're like, I want the cheapest one possible, then, then that's what you give them. You know what I mean? Like this order, for instance, right? This, they wanted Gildan, right? We ordered the shirts. They were supposed to be here yesterday. They didn't get here. She needs them tomorrow. So if they didn't get here, if they hadn't got here today, I know she needs the order for tomorrow. I was going to print them. We're gonna print them all on next level uh, t-shirts for her, just because because of that. Yeah, you can't go wrong with them. Yeah, that's true too. What did I say?
Yeah, I forgot if that was one or two passes. How long has it been since I was in the garage? Um, I got this place in November. So, I got the place in November, and whenever we got the place, I was using the, the Ryanette press that I have. The four, four color one station. So I was using that one, so probably November. But the whole time we were doing that, we were renovating this place. Um, trying to get it to be where it's at right now. Um, we didn't open until January. So, since November, I guess. Yeah, I still have it. It's actually right here. I'm going to use it for 4th of July. Because we're actually taking our trailer out for the first time to a big event. So we're about to put in a super huge order for shirts because the last... Last year they didn't have 4th of July um, on base because of COVID, but the year before that they had it, and when they had it they had 40,000 people there, so hopefully there's a good turnout, and we take the trailer out there, I'm going to create a design, and if a customer wants a shirt, we'll print it for them right there. So the good thing is I won't be wasting any shirts with 4th of July shirts um, that I won't be able to use, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm, I, I want to, I want to, I want to film the whole process of getting it ready, getting it set up to take out there. Um, I just don't know, being that it's on a military base, being that it's on, yeah, eight months, being that it's on a military base, I don't know if they're going to let us film. So, I'm kind of bummed out about that, but it is what it is. Whenever I got, whenever that I got sponsored by Anatol for this one, um, I asked them about a four color one station for the trailer, and they said they don't make it, but they would have to get with the engineers, you know what I mean, to see if uh, they can make one. I think that'd be cool, you know what I mean, for those those people that are looking to get into screen printing. It's either you buy the four and one. You can get the Vastec, the Ryanet Press, the ones on eBay, the ones on Amazon, that cheapy orange one that I first got whenever I first started. You can get those, but how cool would it be if you can get a four color one station from like Anatole, you know what I mean? For, for people that are just starting out and they see myself and Rye, um, Taino Inc. using this machine right here, how cool would it be to be like, you know, I want that, but right now I'm not at that level. So let me just get the four color one station. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got them. Yeah, mine has a, yeah, so I am. So the, the guy that was here, um, if you guys saw my Instagram stories, the guy that flew in to check, to come by the shop, we actually shot a little video because he does everything. He just never screen printed. So. He stopped by the shop. We shot a little video of him screen printing some stuff, um, but he actually does all that stuff. So he was like, hey, let me know. You know what I mean? We'll come up with a design. Uh, we'll charge you whatever we're gonna charge you. He's like, I'll fly, I'll fly back over here and we'll wrap your trailer. So I was like, dude, that's what's up. Yeah, I actually still have mine. I'll show you in a little bit. Let me finish this order real quick. Sits behind. It sits on the floor, lonely over there.
couldn't figure if I bumped this or what. Because this whole thing looks a little off. Both of the lasers look off a little bit. I don't think I hit it, but I don't know. Let me check my percentage, because I'm at 31%, so I should be good. I just had a charger. I don't know what I did with it. Like, for what you guys are using with the, 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 the Riley Hopkins, the, without the micro-registrations, um, it does make a big difference, you know what I mean? And, and you can ask Rye, you can ask Rye to see if, if he thinks the same thing. See, this one has micro-registrations. It has this one, this one, and this one. But with these right here, these side clamps, like you don't really have to do much with anything in the back because you can adjust it before you even put it on there. All right, right. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate the wing stop. Thanks for stopping by. I got you, man. take one of these off you see this one I took the arms off because my daughter was helping me the other day uh, I was loading the shirts and then she was standing over there she was printing them so that helps out I got everything lined up and I was like all you gotta do is just push the squeegee across push the squeegee across and she did a good job Trinity used to help me when we were doing it from the house Now she works over there at the vinyl stand right now while it's summertime. Well, she was doing some, uh, she was doing, she was, uh, so she's working over there now that the summertime's here at the vinyl stand. She helps out over there. But tomorrow I told her she's gonna come help me over here. Knock out some of these other jobs that we have.
Being it's a one color job, I probably don't have to flash it either. Uh, it's just because I'm doing two coats, I want to print it. I want it to get, I want it to not cure, but at least that bottom layer dry. So when I put the next layer on top of it, it really pops, you know what I mean? So that's why I'm printing and then flashing it and then printing it one more time. AT print, did you get your vinyl? put the uh, I gotta cut and then put the the vinyl print on top of it and that'll be it for these and then we got three little U shirts we gotta do So whenever Emily created this design, I had her stick the picture in there, create it, right? So that whenever we print this, right, and we get ready to put the picture on here, it's gonna fit perfectly inside of it. That's the plan, right? No, it does, I already, I already checked it. I wasn't gonna do that without checking it. I want to know where the box went. So we're going to get those shirts, put them back on the cart. If you're doing screen printing and you happen to pick up a conveyor dryer, just keep your thought, right? You don't just turn it off because it's like 700 degrees, right? So you have to let it cool down. So you have to let it, you have to let it um, cool down. So that it doesn't melt your belt. Check your check in the tunnel. Just check it that there's no shirt stuck in there because I've had it happen more than I've wanted to. You'll be like, "What's that smell?" There's a shirt in there. It's not on fire, but it's just like really, really hot to where it's like burning.
Let me go turn on the heat press. Shirts just fell. So what's up? What's up? We just printed all these shirts. It wasn't a lot. It was only like 24. Tomorrow I got a big order I got to do. I don't even know how many it is. I got to look at the invoice. We're going to do those tomorrow. Try, try to knock out two jobs tomorrow. One, two, hopefully three. If that's if nothing happens, because something always happens to where I'm not able to do them. This came out. I think it came out good though. I didn't have to weed it. See that? I think this. We're using the dark printable paper for this. I think it's 305 for 30 seconds. I don't even know. I gotta look to see what the package says. Oh, I shouldn't turn it off. Still gotta do some DTF prints. So, let me turn it back on. Keep printing those while I'm doing this. So those are ready to go. Let me turn this back on. I'm going to print some more of these for the vinyl stand. I need to find the box just in case. Oh, look, here it is right here. Look. That one has the micro registrations. That. Where's that? Those little. Yeah, right there. So this one. I don't like this. Now that I've used the other one, I don't like this neck thing. I wish it was just square. Um, the square one's the square one's better. Hang out for a second. I'm gonna go look for this uh, charger. <coughs> oh, found it. See, when I was doing the DTG, the DTF prints, I put it over here. So let's start another one of these. If you're gonna do this, like if you're gonna do something like this, just know um, that what we're finding out now, as as we've started like ramping up a lot, is you're gonna have to have a computer for every station you have and that's what we're having to do now so like this is this computer is for DTG only DTG or DTF um, and then I have my computer that I use and then Emily has her computer that she uses so like if we're trying to do something with the sawgrass then we're taking out one of our computers where we can answer emails or create a design you know what I mean so just know that if you get ramped up you're going to need another printer, not a printer, another um, computer for multiple stations. And that's what, we're, that's what we're getting into right now. And print. So I've done a ton of prints with this thing already. 
and the good thing is I haven't replaced the ink. Um, the ink has barely moved. I think one of the inks that has used the most is more of the yellow. Um, Cause I, as I can look at them, the yellow is the only one that looks a little low. You can see this, these line, this line right there. It's right underneath it. The rest of them are still above it. For the white, but that thing's cool. Let me set this up over here real quick, and y'all go check this out. I gotta grab my wings too. I don't even think I have the same color vinyl. So we do carry the periwinkle, so we will be able to match the vinyl with the screen print. Periwinkle. So, uh, I don't want to go to the vinyl stand and pick it up. So we have to see what happens. <coughs> okay. So right now it's putting down just the white. I mean, just the color. Once it gets done, it's going to lay down the white ink. And then we're going to switch over here. Hey, Joe, I see you always representing Rep in Texas, but live in GA. <clears throat> That's a good question. Quick color. Emily, if you're still here, <laughs> what are these print at? What are these press at? Is it 305 for what? how many seconds? So quick color, good question. I represent, you said I represent Texas all the time. Hey, Connie. Um, and here's why, because I'm from Texas. But I'm in the military, so I'm stationed here. Now it's going to put down the white underbase. Mm-hmm. From Texas, stationed in Georgia for the military. And since I've been here, we've opened up two businesses, this one and the vinyl stand. 
So our plan is to now stay here. But I'll always rep Texas. Just the way I am. My bad. I didn't even... Oh, so let me know. T. Prince, I was asking you about the vinyl. Let me know. Because if it doesn't get there, um, if it's if it's more than 15 days, I'll put a claim in for you. And whatever you ordered, I'll send it to you again. I hate... I hate... Oh my gosh, I hate it. I was like, where's my phone? I can look right now. My phone's right here. Jerry farting. Is that, did I say that right? So Jerry farting, does the DTF machine clock? So this is a DTG machine. Um, you can't, I can't do DTG, I, but we have the, what is it called? The environment, it's called the environment to print DTF. Um, it hasn't clogged on me. As long as you keep up with the maintenance, it shouldn't, there's like, after I use it, I shut it down and I do, um, has a wet capping station, fill it up with solution. What else does it have to do? That's about it for the after every use. There's a weekly maintenance that I haven't done yet that I need to do. So I'll probably, I should probably do that in the morning when I first get here. Knock it out because there's a weekly maintenance and then there's a monthly maintenance. So if you, just like anything, you, you're not going to run your car without oil. You know what I mean? You're not going to run your car without water. You got to check it. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what I say about anything. You know what I mean? Um, if you keep up with the maintenance on it, you should never have a problem with it. See, Emily's got my back. 320. Farthing. Okay, Jerry Farthing is um let me go back. Does so that that's my take on the DTF DTG machine. Um so far that that I've been using it. So now lay down the white under base. It's good to go. So look at that. There's the white under base. Those of you that just got here, let me show you how this works. So What I'm gonna do is put it in here. It's a it's a powder DTF powder. And then yeah, you can see that. What I do is I put a little bit of powder on there and I just run it through, and it covers the whole image. I avoid flicking the image. I don't flick the image. Now it has the powder on it to where I can put it. Now what I do is I put it into the conveyor dryer. And when I put it in the conveyor dryer, it'll come out shiny like, you can see this, hopefully you can see that. It comes out shiny like that. And now it's like a adhesive to so whenever you press it onto a shirt, this will stay on there. Pretty legit. But we've had, I did a couple of prints for the vinyl stand just to see how they would do and gone. Gone. So we're gonna let that keep going. Let that do its thing and bring you over here. And we're going to prep these wings right here. Go away. Um, I have a razor blade. Let's see if you can see this. So we're doing this is a dark, a dark printable paper. 3G, 3G jet opaque. Um, we're out at the vinyl stand currently. So I ordered it for my store, the shop. Let 
We don't sell it on the website here, but you know, I should probably get a cutting mat for this because I don't want to cut this table up. And then I just trim it up so that I have a nice and straight image whenever I put it on there. Try to get as much of the white out of it as I can. Mm -hmm. What did she say? 320? Is that what Emily said? 320? I'm going to check. I'm trying to find the lines that I want to use to cut this image this is what's going to take the longest is cutting all of these now so i think that is good yeah so that'll work this is going to take longer than screen printing all of these so I was hoping they all printed the same, but nope. So I'm going to use one as a reference and just go off of that one. Hey, Martin, what's going on? Must have missed the print. Yeah, Arnold, what's going on, man? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, we just printed some shirts. We just printed them. Now that we're done printing them, I'm going to go back. We're using a 3G Jet Opaque paper. Uh, they wanted the image on the on the picture. I mean, on the, the print that we did. So here's the, there's the front of it. Those of you that just got here, there's the back of the shirt screen printed. There is the front of the shirt. And we're going to take this image. It's going to go right there. So whenever we created this design, whenever Emily created the design on um, Adobe Illustrator, I taught her how to do it. Um, how to size it, you know what I mean? She did a good job on this, so it looks good. How to size it with the image in it so that whenever I print the whenever I screen print it whenever we got done we'd be able to fit the image right in there I mean there's a lot of white up here I didn't want to I don't want to put all of this white above it so I'm trimming it down so that it'll look good whenever it's on the shirt as I said this is this is the part that's going to take the longest getting all these sized up but once we're done with this, it's just a matter of so I got all these I gotta do. Why does no one around the corner of me print? What you need? We can print. I do for I do for everybody, everywhere, man. It's crazy. Like I got people, someone called me the other day from California wanting stuff done. I'm like, yeah, I can do it. Let's do it, you know what I mean? They just did a story on me. Why not use DTG? That's a good that's not a that's a good question. But the reason is because the customer didn't want to pay for the, the DTG cost. So they went this way. Doing it this way, looking good.
do the printable transfer vinyl So are you not talking about this, are you? You're talking about No, I have some. Let me check real quick. You talking about this? Like this type of vinyl right here? Is this the type of vinyl you're talking about, Connie? Let me know if that's what you're talking about. Dang fly. There's an annoying fly in here. It's still here. It's been here all day. It's bothering me. No. Jose Lopez, what's up? Um, so then which one are you talking about, Connie? Are you talking about this one right here? No, that's HTV. Yeah, that's HTV. We don't so we don't carry printable vinyl because around where we're at, um, there's a store that carries printable vinyl and all the customers that come to our store complain about it. So whenever I wanted to get printable vinyl in the beginning when I first got the store, but then a lot of customers from the other store were coming to our store and complaining about the printable vinyl because they hated to have to buy the vinyl plus the carrier sheet. So then we went the other, we went the other route and I found uh, specialty materials. And with specialty materials, what they do is they sell the HTV already good to go, you know what I mean? Someone look up three, what'd you say it was, Emily? 320? 320 Celsius to Fahrenheit. What is that? Three, like 170? Is that 170? Like 170 Celsius? What is that? I need 320. 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Three twenty. There's some guys at the window right now, like looking at the screen printing equipment. Pretty low temp. It's something that you showed on the IG, like an ice cream, something you did. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about this. Oh, it's this right here. This is what I'm using right here. So this is what I'm using. That's what this is, right? So you would print it and then you would weed it. Um, and after you weed it, you would press it onto a shirt. But since, but since we're not, we're not, um, we are not printing it onto we're not having to weed this, so it's going to be okay. But whenever I do this, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull this off. And if I did the print and cut, then I would weed it. You know what I mean? But I'm not having to do that with this one. But yeah, you, so you, you can't use a carrier sheet for it. And the reason is because if you put a carrier sheet onto that, um, it's going to, it's not going to come up. It's very tricky. I did, I did the ice cream cones. Now I know what you're talking about. We had to peel it off by hand. I didn't know it was going to be like that. I thought I was going to be able to use a transfer uh, transfer tape, and I tried it, and it did not work. It did not work. So just know that. Um, if, you do, if you use the light, the light material, it's just it's like the same thing. Um, just be careful with that because you can only do that on light. 
light garments and you have to reverse you have to reverse your image on this one the good thing about this stuff is that you don't have to reverse your image because it's not opaque it's not i mean it's dark it's for dark you know what i mean so why why these dang flies why What else we got? Do you sell those sheets, Joe? We don't, Ar Arlene. Here we here we don't. I don't sell them here because we use them so much. Um, but we we did have some at the vinyl stand, and what I realized is I didn't know they were gonna sell as fast as they did. Um, especially around graduation time. This was my first year um, doing a graduation thing. So with the graduation thing, like those things sold like crazy. And now we're out of stock. We're trying to get this. We want to get the, the opaque one because it's, you can't see through it. Get out of here. Um, so that's what, that's what we're looking to get right now. We did have some in there and customers were complaining about it. And I get it, you know what I mean? Because it wasn't opaque like this. If you did this, like if I did this on a black shirt, you would see the black coming through the white. Um, so I didn't want to, we were like, let's not sell that no more. Let's just get rid of it. Send it back. We send it back to the distributor. We're like, yeah, this is not good. Not good. So we got rid of it. So we're trying to, we're trying to find someone that we can um, get it wholesale from to resell it. Cause this god dang this fly, I'm about to I need to get a fly swatter. Like this place is surrounded by restaurants and they just throw their stuff out in the back. There's flies always outside. We open the door for a second, they all fly in. But yep. I mean I'm pretty sure you can find this stuff on I mean the thing about this paper is it's very expensive. You know what I mean? And whenever we order for this store, I order by I order the hundred packs. I think it's a hundred pack. It's about it's a little over a hundred dollars or a hundred and something for the hundred packs. So um, whenever we sell it at the vinyl stand, I know people aren't looking to buy a hundred packs. So we always we uh we order the 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 packs that we were ordering. We were ordering them by the thousand, and then we were breaking them down to like twenty five packs. 10 packs and 25 packs. But again, like I said, we've been out. We're trying to get them back in. They say they're on back order, but we'll see. Same thing with the, all the sublimation stuff that we got at the vinyl stand too. Like that stuff's been going like crazy. The baby, we had the baby bottles. Not the baby bottles, but like the sippy cups. And those things sold like the first two days, I think. They were gone. Cause we all, when we, whenever we order something new, we're like, just let's order so many so that we're not, if they don't sell, we're not stuck with them. You know what I mean? Um, but those things went fast. This fly is being annoying. Did anybody find out what 320 Fahrenheit was or Celsius? Nope. Nope. 160. Gotcha. Appreciate it. What am I at? Matt, 150. I just got a stall 16 by 20 press too, but it doesn't have a slide out drawer. And I don't like it. We don't like it because it's, you can't reach the, like you have to put the shirt in there backwards. Oh no, I went the wrong way, I mean, that's cool. 
a little high on the cut, went the wrong way. But um, you have to put the shirt in there backwards. You have to reach way inside of there. So I just mean, I've only been using it for the DTG prints that we've been doing. Um, but yeah, it's been, that thing's been a pain in the butt. Yeah, Arlene, they're expensive. This paper, like when we were selling some at the vinyl stand, the, the, the one that we didn't like, and customers were coming over here because we had the good paper over here. They were coming over here and getting us to print their stuff, and then they wanted us to sell the paper for the same price that we were selling it for at the vinyl stand, but the one at the vinyl stand was the cheaper paper. And we were like, nope, sorry. We can't sell you that. Yeah, got him. Got one of them. Got one of those annoying little buggers. One down, one to go. Who's next? Which one is next? Just killed that. Killed that fly. Messing with me. <laughs> we found the dryer. For pre-treat, then found. Yeah, that's all I use it for. I just, I, w I don't put it in the conveyor dryer. Um, like right now, I'm doing a whole bunch of prints. Land, I dare you. I'm going to smash you too. Get away from me. Um, like my conveyor dryer is still on right now. I need to... Oh my, oh my, this fly. Now there's another one. Well, I knew there was two, but now there's only one. I just killed one. Let's go do this real quick. Let's add powder to this one. We're gonna add powder to this one. So here's the one I just printed. Those of you that don't know who this, what this is, just got here. This is a DTF print. DTF print, right? Look at the colors on that thing. Sweet. So I got two of them right here. I'm gonna go drop these two in the um, conveyor dryer real quick because we need these for tomorrow. Need them for tomorrow. put it in there so what's going to happen when it goes through there is the powder that is on there is going to become liquid I guess it becomes a liquid to make it a glue so then it's a glue when it comes out on this side I know, right? That's yeah. Those colors are nice. That's what I've heard too. So I, I never got to experience the uh, the white toner stuff because I never did that. But um, the DTF has been amazing so far. Yeah. So I printed a shirt with this, and I took it to the vinyl stand. So if, I don't know if you can see that. Now it's like shiny. So now it's like a. It's now like a, a glue, I guess. So whenever you put it in the heat press, it activates this and it sticks. Yes, I've heard. I haven't done poly yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And just like that, we have full color transfers now. Full color transfers. So let's do another one. I'm gonna put another one. I don't know how many I have, but today, uh, my daughter was telling me, I was like, hey, did you run out of the prints? And she's like, I ran out of the prints within the first hour. And I'm like, yeah. But then um, she was, 
telling them to come over here. So I was still selling them over here. But when they would get here, I'd be like, how many you need? They're like, I need five of them. So then I would just, I have to print them, you know what I mean? Oh, here it is right here. So this is, so the ones that were, ones that I'm printing right now. Are the little ones, right? And these are, these are the ones I, these are the ones I ordered. So these big ones right here are about a hundred dollars. These, the big ones. And these are, these are the printable vinyl, the ones that I'm using right now. This is the dark and this is for light garments. So I ordered, I ordered the big ones. We ordered the big ones so that if we have to do something big, we can do something big. Uh, we sell it by the sheet. So if someone comes in and they can fit two images on a sheet, is that ink? I think we charge them like eight bucks to print it on a, to print it for them, you know what I mean? This thing is crazy. All right, let's finish cutting these things. Now I don't know what I did with my box again. Oh, here it is. Four dice, like always. I saw it said reconnecting. Did we reconnect? Is it good? Hopefully it's good. How'd they come out? No, it's not long enough. Ooh, we were at 17%. I'm glad I looked for it. Some people have said that um, the DTF paper, the DTF paper, you have to tack it down. I haven't tacked it down, and I haven't had it unregistered since it's just laying on top. But if it happens one day, then I'll start doing it. But until then, we just keep doing it the way we're doing it, you know what I mean? See, this is when I needed my daughter here to help out. Trinity! She could have did this while I was screen printing, and this job would have been complete. But no, nah, they went to the mount they went up to the mountains today, so that's cool. They got to go hang out. She's gonna be here tomorrow with me. Doing what we gotta do. That looks a little bit bigger. I want to cut these and be done with them. No, this isn't for graduation. Unfortunately, it's not.
ripping up my table. One more. The press these. How did you burn it? With the heat press or what? Did you leave it under the heat press too long or? What did you do? Oh, the heat gun. <laughs> you trying to dry it with the heat gun? Why don't you just put it under the heat press? Put it under the heat press, hover it, hover it over the heat press, hover the heat press over the image. That's what I meant to say. Um, and when you do that, do it for 90 seconds. So that's, that's what they, that's what, um, they recommend with this one over here. So when I'm using this one, when I do my DTG prints, right. And I do the shirt, I put it, I hover it over for 90 seconds. I release it. And then I put a, I put a, a light pressure on it and press it because then the ink is dry. You know what I mean? Try that. See what you get. You're done. So I'm going to Old Faithful. We're going to be using Old Faithful for this. Let me move this. Uh, when I say Old Faithful, Old Faithful. I'm talking about my very first heat press. My very first heat press is still doing its thing today. Very thankful for this heat press. A lot of people said don't buy those heat presses on eBay. This one's still working. That means that it's done. I gotta use my extension cord to charge my phone. Or else it's gonna die on us. Cool. I'm using um, the parchment paper so that whenever I do this, whenever I do this with the parchment paper, what it's going to do is it's going to leave a, a nice smooth finish on there with the screen printed stuff that's on there.
Hold on. I heard a girl yelling in the parking lot. I guess her boyfriend was picking her up. And then press it. My thing is just to make sure that the image is going to fit, it's not going to cover any of the words. So before, before I go and cut this, I'm going to make sure that it fits. I mean, before I go in and take the vinyl off, I want to make sure that it's going to fit where it needs to fit. And it looks good. That's how it looks. And then if you just got here, there's the back. So they want to pick these up tomorrow at 10 30. So I'm going to have to get here early because I don't have periwinkle. Vinyl? Oh, I think this might be it. I can, I can at least uh, do the design. If I do the design, then I can uh, cut it. I just got to weed it. What time is it? 10 o'clock. Oh, I forgot to measure it. Hopefully it's the right size. There it is. There it is. Old. This press is getting old. Not really. It's always it's always been like that. Um, it just never wanted to open. If I put a lot of pressure, if I put a lot of pressure on there, by by really tightening down the pressure, it will pop up. But if I don't put a lot of pressure, it won't. So. I need to bring my computer over here so I can cut this image. I'll just probably come in early tomorrow. 
come in like it. Oh. Now I gotta cut them because this is a lot to weed. Look at all that. I gotta weed all that. That's a lot to weed. If you've done weeding, you know that's a lot of weeding. Right? Appreciate it, Arlene. Yeah, try try like that. Um, so this one, I'm glad I looked at it. It's a little bit too big. Let me trim it down a little bit. Much gooder. in here I put music on yeah that's a lot of weeding yeah that's what they were like just get them cut and we'll weed them at the house so I was like all right I think this is the, the color right here it's only three shirts I mean, but still you know what I mean three shirts that much weeding that's a lot of weeding If you're doing screen printing or you're like looking to get into it one good thing to do is um, if you want to give your print a nice smooth finish because right now you can feel it you know what I mean um, put some parchment paper over it and press it and when it comes out it's like nice nice and soft we tell the customer too like whenever they send us a picture like if, the, if it's a if it's a, a low quality picture it's not going to print as good you know what I mean but they understand that you know what I mean but you got to let them know because last thing I always that's what I always mention it to them because the last thing you want to do is print a shirt like this and then put an image that they that looks one way on the phone but another way when you print it. So we actually, I actually did one of the shirts and sent it to the customer to show them what the image was going to look like once it was on the shirt, and they loved it. So that's good. You know what I mean? It's being lazy. But look, feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Yeah. Feels good though. Good to go. Joe, did you ever use a black powder? Black powder, what is that for? Black powder. You talking about powder coating? Is that what you're asking about, Jose? Powder coating? I actually have it right here under this. The glue. For the, no, mine came with a glue. I didn't even know they made black powder. So since mine came with whatever color it came with, I just left it at that. And I'll just probably order the same thing whenever we get ready to reorder some more. Just order from the website.
but there's a lot of options out there when it comes to ordering that DTG stuff. Is that what you're using, black powder, or what is that? Kid Clothing Creations, if you're still here, sorry, I missed your, um, Mr. Uh, Messi, yeah, super busy, super busy, but it's a good thing, right? We all want to be busy, right? If we're doing this, we want to stay busy, and we, we stay, we stay super busy over here. tonight right we did screen printing we did transfers and now we're gonna do some HTV let me go on my computer right now because this thing might take a second to just cut because it's so detailed you know what I mean so we're gonna do that in a second let me grab it real quick see this is what I'm saying this is my computer, right? If I was trying to do something over there, but I wanted to do this, then I have to come over here, stop what I was doing, so that someone could cut something, you know what I mean? The good thing is the, the, the cutter that I use doesn't cut slow like the Cameo or the Cricut. It cuts really fast. So it shouldn't take, it might take a little bit, but it won't take as long as the Cameo or the Cricut. And it died. Go figure, right? Now we gotta let it boot back up.
customer wanted to go with a dark purple when they did this, and I had to tell him like that wouldn't. If you did a dark purple, you wouldn't see this. Okay, give me a second. Uh, what was the other one? Would a local server help with going from computer to computer? Yeah, we're looking into we're looking into the server. We just we just got a a hard drive. There's a whole bunch of things we're trying to figure out. A whole bunch of different things we're trying to. I just don't want to pay for the local server. You know what I mean? Like, we're trying to do like a remote, like put everything on one computer and be able to remote into it to do what we have to do. Let me find the phone. I think I charged it. <laughs> said line in use. How? That's weird. There's a way to page the other phone. Because it's not. I don't know where it's at. Where's it at? This phone has been on for, look at that, two hours and 30 minutes. Someone forgot to hang it up. I guess it was me. Two hours and 30 minutes the phone was. Let's see the computer finally kicked on. Still here, I'm still here too. I I just I just like to get on here and just let it just let it play. You know, let it do whatever, just go live and do whatever. You know what I mean? Because I'm here by myself, you know what I mean? I'd rather be talking to I'd rather be talking to nobody, like not nobody, but I'd rather be talking to y'all and at least reading something than be here like I mean, I would have the music jamming right now. If I was just, if it was just me, like, if I, like, if I get off with you, I'll just turn the music on and start jamming. But if I put music on right now, it'd be copyright, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're fixing to get out of here. 
Hold up, we'll print cut movies here in a second. What kind of cutter does everybody use? What kind of cutter do you use? I have a cutter, it's like the graph tech, but it's not the graph tech. It's the exact same cutter, just made by, just sold by somebody different. So it's called the Vinyl Express QE6000, which is pretty legit. this thing here in a second. Come over here. Get this. That's it right there. That bad boy. So let me grab these shirts real quick. These little baby shirts. So I need to measure this because that's how big it has to be. Really small. So I'm going to go seven inches wide. I'm going to show you the program I'm using. Check it out. I use LXI Expert. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's it. LXI Expert, which is pretty legit. So let's unboot this. Get rid of that box. Group it. So it's nine inches. I'm gonna go seven. It's ready to go, just like that. Let's put some vinyl in here. So I made it like seven, seven and a half inches, and then we're gonna cut it, just cut it that size. I'm gonna do all three of them at the same time just to knock them out. Graph Tech and Cameo. No, it won't be too hard to it won't be too hard. I mean it's gonna be you gotta be careful when you weed it, you know what I mean? As long as you have the right pressure, it's gonna be good. Um, so just check your pressure. So mine right now. 
my force is at 12. So I'm going to bump it up just less the speed. I bumped it up a little bit. This is 15. So I'm going to do two, three. So I'm doing all three of them at the same time. Knock them out. Don't forget to mirror your image. Watch how quiet this thing is. There's a lot of little things right there. Yeah, just make sure you have enough pressure. If you have enough pressure, you shouldn't have a problem with it at all. things are those letters are little little tiny letters they're little as it is see they're little as it is and I just made it I just made it a whole lot smaller But whenever I do the vinyl for the front of the shirt, I'm not going to do it the same way. Because it's a gap in between, so all that vinyl in between will be wasted. So I'll move, I'll take this piece right here and I'll move it up here. And then whenever I weed it, I'll weed it. And then whenever I print it, I'll print this piece, print the picture, and then print this under it. You know what I mean? So I'm not wasting all that vinyl in the middle. <clears throat> But as long as you have, as long as your cutter, I always tell people do a test test cut. If you do a test print, test cut, whatever it is, um, you shouldn't have a problem with it. Because whenever you do a test cut, you're going to know how for sure if it's cutting deep enough. If you try to weed something right away, then you're going to have a problem. See how small it is? Look. Focus. How tall are the letters? Uh, on the one that I'm doing right now, they're small. I mean, these are small. These are probably a little over a quarter of an inch. A little over a quarter of an inch. Maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch. Maybe a little under. Um, Nice. So yeah, that's what I would say. So these are done. Once I do the front, I'm going to have to resize this image to fit those shirts too, you know what I mean? So, but I want to um, put the front and the back of these, front and the back of the little ones. So, I mean, that thing's going to take a while. It's still on the first one, you know?
chopping it up. Don't get a U.S. cutter. Don't get a U.S. cutter. If you're going to get a cutter, um, go with the Cameo, the new Cameos. Because here's why. Um, I need to upgrade to a U.S. cutter. Don't get a U.S. cutter. I'm telling you. And here's why. is because there's a... If you hear this, listen to this right here. Listen to the motor. You see how you can't hear that? You see how you can't hear hear what it's doing like you don't hear anything if you if you get here here's some here's some some little information right so this cutter right here has a servo motor so servo motors are smooth like this smooth flawless if you get the u.s cutter you're going to get a stepper motor and with a stepper motor you're not going to get smooth curves so if i was you um i would go with a the cameo plus just get the cameo plus I think it's 20 inches. You can cut up to 20 inches wide now. So you might as well, I, I personally, like when I first started, I bought the uh, Vinyl Express R Series 1 because I didn't know what I was doing. I wanted a big a big plotter, so I bought that one. And after after using it and learning about it, um, the difference between a stepper motor and a servo motor, um, you know what I mean? I want to do, I want to, uh, I've been saying it forever. I want to do a video of, the difference but I have it you know what I mean um, the difference between a servo motor and a stepper motor always go with a servo motor so like whenever you're looking up cutters um, if, if you don't want to if you like this cutter right here is like 1600 bucks right I think the smaller ones like a thousand dollars that's a lot of money to spend for a cutter you know what I mean um, so go with the cameo plus the cameo plus it, it does good if you look Right here. That's the first cameo right there. We still use it. You know what I mean? It does what it needs to do. Um, do I want to upgrade to the 20-inch cutter? Mm, to do classes maybe, but really I don't need to because I have this one. And if I want to do a print and cut, I use that one. You know what I mean? And I don't ever cut anything bigger than 12 inches. You know what I mean? So, and if I do, you just make your image sideways so say say I, like the the ones i did for the the whipped creamery it was it was like 10 by like 13 or 14 inches right so what i did is i turned the image long ways and then i bought let me show you And then I bought this. So this is 12 inches. It can go inside the Cameo. So the Cameo, the this one can only cut 12 inches, but it can cut forever this way. You know what I mean? So that's why I say, um, if you're trying to do like a decal, a big decal, and you're like, oh, I can't fit it because I can only cut 12 inches. Buy one of these right here. Turn your image sideways. And now you can cut 12 by, what is this, 24 cut 12 by 24 inches so now instead of making a decal this big you can make a decal that big you know what i mean by just changing out this right here um and i think with the new cameos the the, the, the the 24 inch and the 15 inch you don't even have to have that anymore you could just put the roll that comes with that little thing in the front where you could just attach the roll and you could just cut it forever you know what I mean? so then you're up to 15 inches or 20 inches you know what i mean um, unless and unless you're buying like well, this, this ain't gonna happen. unless you have a job where someone's like I need 20 inch glitter like what are you gonna do with 20 a 20 inch piece of glitter it's not gonna fit on your shirt this way maybe this way you know what I mean but what are you gonna do what are you actually gonna do with a 20 inch piece of glitter you know what I mean? So do you actually actually need a 20 inch cutter? Do I actually need this? I, I don't, you know what I mean? But it's good to have, they're good to have for those jobs that do come in where I did a, a mirror, or we did a couple mirrors for a two weddings, right? We did two, two weddings and I was able with this cutter, 
right to cut 24 inches this way and then like 36 inch that way so like this right here so yeah, I could put this whole thing inside of my cutter this is 651 sticker adhesive vinyl so when someone comes in is like hey how big can you cut I'm like this is big right here right it's like 12, 30 inches so I can cut this I can cut a decal this big however long you want it you know what I mean so that's what's good about having a good a bigger cutter finished one of them one of them is done hey are you from texas yeah i am shelly what's going on say go with joe's or a suma i've never heard of a suma but yeah um that's that's my take on cutters because servo motor stepper motor Whenever you use a stepper motor, it's gonna be making a lot of crank, 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 crank. You know what I mean? And if you <laughs> if you hear this one, it's like going. You know what I mean? That's good. It's Thursday. Everybody's chilling, right? Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday. Oh, let me see if I missed anything else. So yeah, that's 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 what I would say. As soon as these things are done, I'm not gonna weed them. I'm gonna do this one. Let me get the next design. So while this one's getting ready, while this one's cutting, the good thing about and another good thing about this cutter right here is whenever you send the image it stores it inside of here and it cuts it right so now i can go over here i can go back to the computer get my next design now now i'm gonna do the front of the shirt and get it ready to go because you know, i just want to once i get the front done Hey, you too, man. Thanks for stopping by. Sticking around so long. It's almost three hours. Crazy. Um, I'm going to delete this one. Hey, um, AT Prince, I'll check on your order tomorrow. I'll check on your order. Um, send me a message on Instagram what your order number was so I could check it. All right? Check it out again. So, yeah, send me that. All right? I'm just gonna go on this for the front of this one. I'm only gonna go seven inches on this one. So we're gonna so this red box that's around here, I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna delete that box because whatever is red is what it's gonna cut. I don't want it to cut the so I'm gonna ungroup it. Delete that. And I'm gonna take this piece. So if you could see this, I don't know if, if you can, but there's this is where the year's at, and this is where the top is at. This is where the picture goes in the middle. So all of this is gonna be scrap vinyl if I leave that in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this up here. And it's gonna save me all that vinyl, right? I can group it. And then when I go to hit my cut button, whenever it pulls up, I'll show you what, it, what it's gonna look like. I should've just did this so I could've zoomed in. Uh, let, me get, let me show you, so. I would've did that. It probably would've been better, right? You probably would've been able to see that. So our image is there. We're gonna hit our little cutter tool. And now instead of being three big pieces, the way the way the heart was in the back, I think it's on the last one. It's gonna put three of them together. So what I can do with this cutter
I can put how long my vinyl is. So the vinyl is 15 inches, right? Um, but it does. It's not going to cut the full 15 inches because if it's on the full 15 inches, the rollers, right? You got to give space for this roller. So we're losing an inch right here, and maybe half an inch back here, right? With the with these pinch rollers. So um, the good thing with this is whenever I hit front. Um, it's called front edge. It measures the vinyl from here to here and it tells you your measurement here. So from it'll measure from the inside of this roller to this roller and tell you, say, for instance, 13.75. And if it tells me 13.75 and I look at my image over there and it tells me 14 inches, it's gonna miss all the outside of one of the the, the cuts. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I like about this cutter too. It measures it, tells you exactly how wide you can go. And then whenever you whenever you get ready to cut it, you know how wide it is. So then what I can do is I can come over here and see if you can, hopefully you can see this, is I could change this right here. So once I start to change this, so if I change this to 12 inches, you're gonna see this image right here. Jump up here, watch. See how it jumped up there? So that's at, that's at 14 inches see 13.9 so when I measure it if it tells me 13.9 then I'll be able to cut that right there um, but we'll see we'll, we'll measure it and then we'll see if we can cut it and this is how you could tell if you have a good cut what I always tell people to look for I'm gonna lower this down real quick is hopefully you can see this i don't know if you can is if you can see if you can see the words on this side you know you got a good cut you see how with the glare you can see that a little bit let me see what yeah i'm still here man i'm bored man so i'm like on youtube chilling just giving people knowledge man I'm trying to finish the shirts i gotta finish them man can't leave until they're done because they're picking up they're picking them up early tomorrow. So the big ones are done. Now I'm doing the little ones. So I, I didn't screen print these. I didn't screen print these. So I got to do them with vinyl. Are DTF transfers good enough to use for a clothing brand? They are. They feel good. You know what I mean? Um, Andrew, Andrew? Andre. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. I still, I still haven't even finished this one. Look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, get it. I have one right there. Look. That's, that's one you'll get. Um, you can get it with or without the micro registrations. Mine has micro registrations on it, so. That thing's been shutting down forever. Let me go check it real quick. My bad. You dropped ranch on your shirt. Where? 
No, I didn't. Did I really? I don't see it. You should do a video on that cutter. <laughs> Rye just got one of these. Have you used it yet? It's amazing, right? It's amazing. I love it. So this, this one's almost done. It's on the last wing. So what I do with what I do with my cutter, with my program, is I add a um, I add a weed a weed box around it. So whenever it gets done, you're gonna see it pull the vinyl back in, and it's gonna go back and cut a square around each image. So whenever I go to weed it, they're individually um, cut out. So you'll see that in a second. And then when this one gets done, we're gonna there. No, I thought it was done. So whenever this one gets done, we're gonna go and we're gonna measure. We're gonna do the front edge measurement on here to make sure that our vinyl that we're able to cut this right here. If not, we can always move um, this over. So if you look at if you look at this, there's a blue line right here, a blue line right here, right here, and then there's a long one right here. So whenever you whenever you use this cutter, you you just can't put those. See there it goes. So now it's doing the weed box around around them. So all three of those images are cut. I think if I was using the cameo or the cricket, it'd still be on the first one. Here's a tip for you, Rye. I don't know if you know this, but um, you can hit this button right here. Whenever you bring it down, I get a razor blade like this, and I use this this line right here to keep my Keep a straight cut. See that? So now my vinyl stays nice and straight. So you can see the, the words on the side. Right, so that's good for that one. Now the next one I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this real quick. So what I'm doing is if you look at this, right? I gotta keep it. I gotta. This has to be. If I put this right here, it's not gonna. It's not gonna cut because it has to be under one of these blue lines right here. So if I move it out here, now this one can play anywhere inside here, right? So if I move this over, and then I move this one over, I'm good, right? And then what I do is I bring my vinyl forward. And what I like about this cutter, these these lines right here, it's got the same lines in the back. So I can make sure that my my vinyl is straight in the front and in the back. And then I'm gonna hit. So let me see if I can show you this. Oh, here we go. Let's see. This is gonna be tough. Can you see that? Probably not. Let's see. Sorry. But hopefully you can see that. So this one says front edge. Whenever I hit it, watch what it's gonna do. It's gonna measure it. It's gonna tell me my measurement on here. Hopefully you can see it. So 14.764, right? So 14.764 is the width of my vinyl, right? No, I didn't use any uh, veteran benefits. No, I didn't. I didn't do any, any, any. Uh, this is. Let's just do this and see what happens. All right. So we had fourteen point seven, right? And over here, we're good at thirteen point nine. So I'm gonna bump this up just a little bit. So fourteen point seven, good. Send it. This isn't a perfect SVG, that's why it's it's doing like 
very like you should just flow through it. That's weird. That's weird. That's gonna take forever the way it's going. All right, anyways, I don't know, like, I guess the SVG wasn't the best SVG, but it is what it is. Let me look at this. So I guess the image they sent us had like some shakiness to it. So it's actually gonna cut it exactly like that. Right, but anyways, all right, so we're going to get out of here. It's already, I don't even know what time it is. 10.59, it's not too bad. But we're going to get out of here, screen printed the front of those shirts, the back of those shirts, and then we put the picture on the front, and then we cut this images. I want to I want to show you how it weeds, but I don't because I cut three and I don't want it to mess up. Don't do it. But see if you have something saying if you have the if all right, good night, man. If you have the right cut, you have the right pressure, you shouldn't have any problem when it comes to weeding this. You know what I mean? See how easy it's weeding? Um, it all depends on what you're using. Um, I don't even just play. You have to play with it. I don't. I, I would have to be at the store and look at all the stuff that we have written down. Should do a video on it, Gina. I think I'm gonna stop there because I don't want to do the letters, but you get it right. See how easy, see how clean that is, how easy it's weeding. So it's weeding good. So I'm gonna be taking a weeding tool home so they could do this, All right? So, so whenever you do the, whenever you do the, whenever you press. The fatty, also it's 15 seconds on the actual material. Turn the shirt inside out and then press it another 15 seconds just because it's so thick. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be here tomorrow also, Gina. Tomorrow is a federal holiday, so we're off tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. We screen printed, we did DTF transfers. We did heat transfer vinyl. We're doing heat transfer vinyl. We did some dark OG epate, whatever it was called, transfer paper thingamabob. So we did that too. All right, so we're going to get out of here. Um, if there's anybody here who's a father, happy Father's Day. Um, Sunday is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to everybody. We're going to get out of here. So, again, thank you guys for sticking around for three hours and 30 seconds will be three hours All right you guys are amazing thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and until next time keep pressing